Hello, hello, Naughty Bean fam, and happy Friday, everyone. What y'all doing? How was y'all week? It was a pretty tumultuous week, but it ended up being a great week. I had some more challenges. This hair got to go, man. I got to do something with this hair, for real, for real. So, I had two cancellations this week. <laughs> One was um, legit because, you know, the client, it was a, well, it was, three. One, there was a schedule situation where it wasn't my fault. It was just the same service. They, uh, you know, y'all saw that on the previous video. But anyways, that woman ended up calling me back the next day and she was like, and she was like persistent. She really wanted me to um, do the signing, but I just couldn't because I had like three other obligations that day. I just couldn't. So, but I still helped her out. I still made some phone calls for her and she put a really good plug in for me. So, you know, and, and I got a call back from the signing service thanking me. Hey, raise the room, raise the room. You know, I always turn something into a positive no matter what, no matter how I feel. Uh, when I tell you things, you know, it's not going to always be hoo, hoo, rah, rah. I just tell you how I feel, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to, you know, be positive about it or, you know, take a, a positive activity on it. It's just I feel some kind of way and I just I'm, I'm re keep it real. So that worked out well. All right. Then there was another one. I kind of knew this guy wasn't going to go through because it's just certain elements. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They're already reluctant going out the door. You know, they listen to all their friends. I kind of knew I could just tell. And so I, um, when I called to confirm the guy, he was all, no, 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 no. <laughs> so I kind of already knew which way that was going to go. So his, his loan officer, everybody called me. His loan officer called me. I was out, out that day and minding my business, having a good time. And mortgage company calls me. Yes, we calling about Mr. Blue. I said, yes. Um, and it doesn't, you know, is, is this Thomas and Adams? Yes. Yeah, I was wanting to just kind of fill you in. I was like, well, I'm not the signing, signing service. You need to call them because they're the one who placed the order for me. And he said, well, you know, it's not going to happen because, you know, he didn't qualify. He's not going to get approved. I said, okay, I understand. I said, but could you please call the signing service to make sure they inform? He didn't do it. And so he said, oh, I'll go ahead and take care of that. He didn't do it. Because uh, <laughs> the next day, the, the signing order was still on a dashboard and it was on there for hours and hours. And so I got up early because I kind of knew he would, he didn't do it. I got up early the next day, today, as a matter of fact, because it was put, scheduled for today. And I um, sent them, you know, um, on the dashboard a letter, you know, well, you know, how you just let, let them know that, hey, the mortgage company actually reached out to me and they told me that they canceled. But I, I didn't know what type of actions to take, you know, so nothing. Hours go by. I said, let me just go ahead and call Mr. Blue myself. So I called Mr. Blue. I said, hey, your mortgage person called me yesterday and he told me that you can't, that they canceled the signing. Is that true? He said, yes, you know, not, I decided, you know, I didn't do it, you know, I didn't get approved. I said, okay, great. I just wanted to hear it directly from you. So I went back to the dashboard and informed them that I heard directly from the signer. Two hours later, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> For informing us, really? You know, you got like two hours or, you know, two hours before the signing takes place. So <clears throat> they had to cancel that run. So it was all good. Then the day that I couldn't take um, the woman, Miss um, Bonsall, this other guy, the one that I did a general notarization, he calls me for a POA. He's going all cuckoo. I, told, I mentioned that in the video. He found, you know, finally got the POA uh, drawn up. And so he calls me. This place is almost an hour and a half away. And so he said, well, what do you charge? You know, and I told him what I charge. A hundred dollars. Uh, that, uh, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. So you're going to sit here and insult my business, insult my service. First of all, I didn't even charge you for the consultation, and you know, which I normally charge on how to get things all set up. I didn't even charge you for that. 
and then to add insult to injury, it required two witnesses, which I included that in all of my uh, my price, my fee. And I had a conversation with him months ago about, you know, we talked about, you know, certain people and businesses, how they try to nickel and dime you. And what did he do? Try to nickel and dime me. And so he said, $100, you know, and it's a go. I'm like, it's a no. And so um, I said, listen, I'm on an appointment right now. When I'm done with my appointment, I'll give you a call back. I call back. He doesn't pick up. I text. And I said, well, you need to let me know what's going on because I'm heading back towards, you know, my direction because I'm coming on the other, from the other side of town if you still want to do this. Nothing. So I just said, you know what? I was busy with my mom, you know, because I had to help her with her appointment, uh, a live appointment. So I said, y'all not going to cut my visit for this idiot. He's not even texting me back or calling me back. And he's just being a, 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 a S-A, a sock. Y'all know what that is, a sock, smart A, a sock. He's being a sock. And so I just said, you know what? I'm not going to. You know, so I said, my mom, my mom said, well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I said, well, you know, what's the matter with him? You don't want to pay? I said, you know, you know, it's typical of certain elements. And she said, yeah, yeah. And I said, I'm going to give him 10 more minutes. And if he doesn't call me back in 10 more minutes or communicate with me in 10 more minutes, he's getting blocked. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. I blocked him. Block. I don't do business with a person like that at all. I didn't like the energy at all from the start. You could find another notary. So he ends up, I don't know how he ended up getting through, or he couldn't get through my, or ring my phone, but somehow he was able to leave a voicemail. And he calls, you know, you can just still do it tomorrow morning or whatever. You will never hear from me again. That's one thing I love about this business. You can pick and choose and do business who you want to do business with. And if that energy is not right, listen to your intuition. It's always right. It never fails you. So I'm like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. You know, I'm going to take my, my day. It was yesterday and, and, and waste my time with him. I'm going to go visit my sister. So I went to go visit my sister yesterday. I had a ball. I was so glad to see my, my baby. I call her my little baby, my baby bird. And she blessed me so. So she blessed me with that picture right there. See that picture? She blessed me with that picture. She blessed me with a brand new rug. And she blessed me well my TV. She had already bought the TV for me. It's in my bedroom. I'm gonna have that uh, mounted on the wall in there because I don't really want to be because I work on this on the way on the other side of the room and I I don't want to be distracted by TV. I just don't. So I'll put it in the bedroom when I'm gonna relax and watch a movie in the bedroom. But in the living room, no. I'm just like I just no. So um yeah, that was my week. My week was crazy. And then, oh, wait a minute. One more thing. I had the sign I did where I received my nice uh, fresh eggs and baked cookies. Well, sign service called me about a signature affidavit in the Patriot um, form. And she says, it's not, it, wasn't com it wasn't complete. I said, what do you mean it wasn't complete? Are you kidding me? I, I had the picture I formed with my eyes closed. You know, that's impossible. Not on my, not my package. And so after a little investigation, because they wanted me to go back out, I'm like, I'm not going back out there unless someone pay me. And I told her, I said, because I already know that I'm tight with my paperwork and I'm on top of my paperwork. And I watched, I reviewed that paperwork like three or four times. So they end up doing a little investigation. Come to find out there was another notary that they had a sign on this and they had her stuff and not my stuff and they was going off of that so a lot of stuff was missing and so I kept telling her, I said you know my intuition is telling me that they're trying to sneak some things after the fact and trying to get me to go back out there without paying me and she got quiet and I was right so the title company called me I'm telling you these people all everybody be reaching out to me everybody title company calls me so I've been seeing that we really appreciate your help. I mean, you you just, you know, we really, you just have no idea. And I said, oh, thank you. Just, you know, and you had no idea how much that means to me. She said, well, after careful investigation, uh, we find out that all your stuff was thorough. And thank God, because you had made copies of all their ID and we didn't see it because they were looking at her file, not mine. I said, yeah, that's why I did not listen to them when they told me to drop it off. I came straight here home to my home office and I scanned the ID and I printed out to put in your package, you know, because they want that one they wanted me to drop off. I'm like, no. And I always get a receipt. 
I always go to the center. I don't do the drop off in the boxes. I don't just don't do that. Just just not my. I don't do that. I need to receive. And so she said, "Well, thank God that saved the deal. It saved me from going out there. It saved everybody from doing all the extra work, including the signing agent service." And so um, the signing service a lot of you are familiar with starts with the C. Uh, we just had a really good, I have a good rapport with them. I really do. I have a very good rapport. And me and girlfriend worked that out. We just got, we started tag teaming each other. And uh, I just said, let's just do what we have to do to move forward to make it work. I'm more a solution oriented person. I don't have time to argue about who shot JR and who did this. Let's just get it done. And so I said, well, push come to shove. If I have to go back out to that place, then so be it. Because I really do like the family. And I, I'm going to tell you the truth, I never had a bad closing ever. Even the ones that look like, you know, kind of crazy, they're still good to me because I still, you know, I, I love all my, all my peeps. And she said, you know, it's, it's just wonderful to hear because, you know, I was just getting off the phone with a couple of other um, new signing agents and they were saying they had rough and terrible experiences. And she kind of let the cat out the bag. She said, a lot of them don't even need to be in the business. She said, they really don't. They need a lot of training. She said, it's really bad. And she said, we really value people like yourself. I'm like, raise the roof. Because that's just, re you know, reaffirming that it's giving me more confidence to go direct. And I'm going to be using all of these great things that I'm getting from them as part of me marketing myself. You know that. And, and you know what else I get, guys? I'm going to show you all something. I don't know if any of you get, get this from Snap. That's what I'm going to show you something real quick. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. This is a report that I get from Snapdocs, and can y'all see that? The thumbs up. Can y'all see that? I get these every month, and I have some with four thumbs up. Two, this one was two thumbs I got uh, two thumbs up from two companies, and I got two thumbs up from two consumers. And it says a, th um, a thumbs up means... Someone went out of the way to say how good of a job you did. Um, this boosts your ranking and leads to more sign-ins. <laughs> I have a, I have quite, I have um, like three of these. Like when I first started, I have another one before. I got like four from the sign-in companies, and I got four from the customers. That's a good thing, right? And, you know, that's what I'm saying. I stay busy. I was like, I, I guess the algorithms are picking up on that, and they see these things. And so I didn't know who else received this because I get these every month, every month. And then, you know, of course, you know, I print out my app. y'all see all this? All my money. Money, money, money. That's <laughs> money. So I print that out because I keep a record of everything. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. That's some good stuff. I let, let you know that this business is good. The girl getting her grind on and she ain't going nowhere no matter what. I share everything with you because I want you to understand that it's just part of the business. A day in the life. It is not going to always be roses. It's not going to always be really TV. You're going to have some freaking days. And it's not about being disappointed in your reaction. It's just real. It's just real. You just keep it real. I mean, I was feeling some kind of way that day. I'm like, really? Mm -hmm. You know? But it's not going to affect me in, in no kind of way as far as my motivation and my drive for what I want. It's not going to take my sights off of that, period. You know, I always got my eyes on bigger and better things, and I'm always striving to do better. I'm chewing, chewing this gum. I know it's a little rude, but I feel like chewing some gum. So, anyway, I'm going to share something else with you real quick. And I'm going to take this gum out of my mouth, and I'm going to come back to you in just a second. All right, so I'm going to just share something with you really quick. So you new notaries, grab your pens and papers real quick. I'm going to give you a quick lesson on this one particular document. It's called your Signature Affidavit, a.k.a. Statement. A lot of you seen this, and I'm going to teach you how to properly fill this out, okay? It's really simple and easy, but... It is a lesson that I learned, and although it's not applicable to all of the lenders, some do, but this is just the best way to do it so you won't have any delays in anything because this became an issue, and it really wasn't an issue. It really wasn't. It was done right, but they insisted that you went go the extra mile, and right, rightfully so because there's a lot of fraudulent activity going on right now. I'm getting alerts from the signing services uh, when they send me emails to be careful. So how do you fill this out properly? All right. 
we already know when you explain this to the signers that you sign your name here, you, your name is printed here, and you're going to sign over here just as you normally sign, just like it's, it's showing up right here. And then you're going to see down here the AKA statement, which are these are like names that they would normally go by, like other aliases or whatever. So whatever name that's on down here that applies to them, they need to actually sign it just as they would sign it, you know, when they use that name, if it's applicable. If it is not applicable, you see what you're going to do here? You're going to have them strike through the alias name or that name right there, put their initial next to it and put in a, and they need to do every line has to be filled in. Y'all understand? So they, every line, so if it's N-A all the way down because they don't use any of these names and they don't know who it is, that's what they need to do. If it's N-A, just say this is a name that they do use, they need to go ahead and sign that name and then all the rest you do the N-A. Do you understand? Okay. And that is the proper way to fill out this. It really is. I mean, normally they all, if they don't apply, they would just go ahead and sign their name here. And you know, and just your name or whatever. But they want you to strike that out and put their initial. They want them to put their initials there. And then right behind it, you want to always, always, always make sure that there's an acknowledgement behind it. They normally have one with it. If they don't, make sure you put one in there. And I always add an extra one just in case. My own fresh. So you make sure you put that in there and you stamp and bam. Just wanted to share that with y'all. Okay. Quick little lesson. Remember that. It's going to save you a lot, and it's, you, you're going to probably hear a lot more institutions requiring that. And I, I this signing was through one who, a signing company who do a lot of training, a lot of training. And so this is who I'm learning this from. This is a real job. So make a note. It's going to make your life a lot easier. And that Patriot um, form, they have one. Let me see if I have that one in here. Do I have that one in here? They have one that's like this. And then they have another one that is, don't have any of this. It's just like this big, like, it don't have any of this. And, and then it has the additional comments behind it. They'll have that behind it. So... Make sure that you assist them and that you, if you can, fill it out yourself. You fill it out. It's, you really supposed to, a notary is supposed to fill this out. You grab their driver's license, you look at the driver's license, and you put the information in yourself. After a while, it gets easy. You just know that this is the uh, uh, where it's an initiation is from Pennsylvania, wherever state you're in, the ID number, the driver's license number, the date, date of birth, if it's a picture or whatever, and the expiration date. Not that hard. I always make sure that you put the box if it's for residential, whichever one applies, and have them sign the bottom. Some of these have a, a room for signature at the bottom. Some of them don't, like this one don't. Have them sign it anyway and date it. Okay? That's just a quick lesson on some forms on when you bring your signing. That's it. But other than that, guys, I had a great week. You know, I wasn't bad. I'm moving forward. I know what I want. I know what I got to do to get it. I have more confidence. And sometimes having a... Challenging week builds your confidence. It actually builds your confidence because it's that level of frustration that needs to move you forward. You can get comfortable and you won't move and you become stagnant in your efforts, in your uh, ambition. And what will keep you going is those challenges, those little challenges that kind of like tick you off a little bit. That'll get you moving in a new direction so that you can gain more independence and more money because at the end of the day, and even when you're making more money, you're going to still have challenges because you're constantly rising to the top and leveling up. But you sleep a little better and can get through it a little easier because your hands are being, you know what I'm saying, greased a lot better. You're taking a lot more cheddar, you know, it makes life better. So it's going to be just a, just a different situation. Same time clock, same work. And I feel so much better now. So, yeah, you know, I really do feel good about myself for the value that I bring to this industry and to the people that I serve. And I and I love it. You know, understand what I'm saying? For me, it's not a thing where it's, uh, oh, no, I'm just, you know, hustle. No, for me, I actually absolutely love this business. Everything about it fits me to a T. 
Uh, I love people. I love being adventurous. I don't know two signs are ever the same, ever. It could be the same document, but it's not ever going to be the same, ever, because everybody's different and their situation is different. And so I like that. I get to go to different places, meet all kinds of people. I get to see new homes, new constructions. I get to see how people, I get to see all this and I get to really enjoy myself. I get food and gifts. <laughs> the light. I get up when I want to get up. I get to pick and choose where I want to work, the areas and the locations, and make money. This is this is real. You know what I'm saying? So happy weekend, everyone. Uh, it's cold here again. It's cold. I had to close my blinds and close the door. It's cold. It feels good though. Uh, so I cleaned up really nice and I did a little moving around because you know I'm getting ready to change up a little bit. So what I did is I took and create I'm very creative I took the box I actually have my printer sitting on the box but I had it decorated you know with a uh, what they call like a tablecloth that I folded and put over so it looked really nice because I, I you know so what I did is I opened it up folded it because it's real it's kind of like um hard cardboard and I folded them in I took the styrofoam and I put pushed it in the back so it made it gave it more um uh, what is it called? Good foundation to make it nice and uh, solid to put the printer on the print. And then I put all the copying paper under that and the cover covered it up. So it looks nice. It looks really nice. It feels good too. So I say, uh-huh. So now I can just work for my desk over here. Like when I'm printing stuff out, I could just go ahead and sit right here behind my desk. And, you know, like I uh, put my clips in there and put my packages together to uh, put my signage. And when I do my scan bags, I sit right here. It works out perfect and just scan and it just works out perfect so i have my living space over there and i got some more space over there that's not you know you know it's just i want to you know just enjoy this journey my goal right now and my mission right now is to stack stack my money you know get as much money as i can get in that bank account and then i can make my move that's the most important thing so that's why i say make your environment nice you don't have to have a lot i'm a minimalist and i have a lot you know because you know guys i had to start all over because i didn't have anything i had to start all over and so you take little baby steps do a little bit at a time because i'm a diy person so i know how to do a lot of things you know like for instance that right there that you see i did that uh over i um chalk paint that and i put the bling going on, on the side i did that a couple of years ago actually about yeah, two years ago, it, it still looked like perfect. It's soft, it's nice, and I put like the uh, the chalk paint wax, which you know really makes it sit set really nicely. So yeah, I do stuff like that, and I got another beautiful chair with it that I did. Uh, I do a lot of DIYs, and I'm gonna probably do this rug here that my I don't know if y'all can see it that my sister gifted me. I'm gonna do that DIY. I'm going to chalk paint it the color that I want, and I'm gonna probably take a little splashes of rose gold and put you know, on the design it's gonna be it's gonna be nice trust me that picture of it is gonna be nice so all right let me get off of here been on here long uh just wanted to kind of like let y'all know that i'm okay she's good you know i'm happy i'm excited and so you know get excited get on fire it's time for you know to level up my birthday's coming up soon and i have some things i need to accomplish before it gets here and that is a done deal as far as i'm concerned all right keep signing Keep smiling, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you, fam. Thank you for your love and your support. Bye.